bacteria can be classified on the basis of oxygen requirement there are aerobic bacteria that requires oxygen for the production of their energy ATP which is the source of energy and then there are some bacteria anaerobic which means that they do not require oxygen such anaerobic bacteria have process other than oxygen so they don't need oxygen to produce ATP they can produce ATP or energy without using oxygen which is a process known as fermentation then we have obligate aerobes such bacteria are totally dependent on oxygen for their growth and survival an example of such a bacteria is mycobacterium tuberculosis which causes tuberculosis in humans it is totally dependent on oxygen for its growth production of ATP and survival then another category of bacteria is obligate anaerobes obligate anaerobes do not require oxygen in fact they die in the presence of oxygen so they have process other than oxygen which is known as fermentation that don't require oxygen for the production of ATP or energy an example of obligate anaerobe is clostridium tetany which causes tetanus in humans facultative anaerobes they can grow better in the presence of oxygen when available but they also have the ability to grow when the oxygen is not available so they grow better in the presence of oxygen and an example is E. coli E. coli which is notorious for causing urinary tract infection is an example of facultative anaerobe which grows better when oxygen is available it produces more ATP and more energy therefore it grows better in the presence of oxygen but remember it can also grow in the absence of oxygen so these are facultative anaerobes which can grow in both type of environment but prefers oxygen rich environment and then we have micro aerophilic anaerobic organisms these require less oxygen than obligate aerobes for survival in fact they are killed at high concentration of oxygen so yes micro aerophilic require oxygen but they require less oxygen than obligate aerobes that's the difference from obligate aerobes and uh, an example of such a bacteria which requires a less concentration of oxygen for survival is compilobacter chagini which causes gastrointestinal infection aerotolerant bacteria these are oxygen tolerant bacteria it means they are not affected by oxygen concentration and they don't require oxygen for their growth they don't use oxygen for their growth but remember aerotolerant bacteria are different from the obligate anaerobes because obligate anaerobes are killed at oxygen concentration whereas aerotolerant bacteria are not affected by oxygen at all they can grow even when oxygen is present but they don't use oxygen an example of aerotolerant bacteria is lactobacilli and streptococci these are present in our oral cavity aerobic and anaerobic bacteria can be differentiated on the basis of their growth in the thioglycolate broth medium in the test tube this thioglycolate broth medium in the test tube creates a differential oxygen concentration which can help differentiate the different oxygen requiring bacteria or those which don't require oxygen for example the first bacteria is obligate aerobe this will be accumulated at the top of the test tube at the top of test tube we have the highest oxygen concentration therefore obligate aerobes prefer to grow at the top of the test tube then we have obligate anaerobes they will grow at the bottom of the test tube at the bottom of the test tube we have the least oxygen concentration so therefore obligate anaerobes will grow at the or accumulate at the bottom of the test tube then we have facultative anaerobes facultative anaerobes they will grow much more at the top of the test tube then they will grow in the bottom of the test tube so they are much more accumulated at the top of the test tube then we have aerotolerant anaerobes they will grow throughout the test tube because they are not affected by oxygen concentration then we have micro aerophilic bacteria these micro aerophilic organism they will grow not at the top of the test tube just below the top so they require a little less concentration of oxygen as compared to obligate aerobes therefore they prefer to grow just a little below the top of the test tube these are micro aerophilics organisms